Hello, uh, welcome to a new video. I'm Romy. Uh, okay, my car just randomly dropped out of the sky. Anyway, this is a new video series that I would quite like to do if, it, if it's uh, something that people like to watch, where I drive down random roads or in random cars or cars I've never driven in and roads I've never driven in in a set of Corsa and give impressions and feedback on the car or track. Uh, I want to call it an AC one take, so I will literally install it and record me playing it and driving it for the first time. Um, if it's something that people like I'll do more obviously and if you have cars and tracks that you recommend me to drive I will drive those. Uh, so today I'm on the Hakone Oharadai. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it I don't know usually if you pronounce things really fast it just sounds right. Uh, Hakone Oharadai. Boom. Um, it's a mountain road in Japan uh, and there is a reason I actually chose this and it seems like a pretty obscure track but there's a reason I'll explain why how how and why I found this track in a minute um, so I'm gonna drive tra and generally when I do these drives if it's like a road like a real life road I'll drive it as if I'm actually on the road in real life so I'm you know not driving too crazy not going for track records just cruising around like it's a real life uh, thing. I'll put the street tires on because this is a 90s car so let's just pretend we're in the 90s. Uh, right so I'm in the car uh, I have actually no idea where to go my pit man here is pretty useless to be fair he's just kind of chilling that's right mate you just stand there right, let's try it this way uh, so I Okay, this is clearly not the way. This is literally the end of the world. So I'll just turn it around. Uh, so I actually love this car. It's the uh, Mazda RX-7 tuned. Uh, I love the idle sound. Just that burbling. Love that. And I love the way it sounds when you bounce off the rev limiter. Oh, it's just amazing. Anyway, so I'm going to drive down this road as if it's real life-ish, uh, not driving too crazy, you know, within the, in the lanes, within the limits, uh, not trying to set personal bests, just giving some feedback on the track and what it looks like. Uh, I'll first explain why and how I've downloaded this track. Uh, I recently watched Mighty Car Mods Turbos and Temples 2, which is a, a YouTube channel, I'm sure if you're, a car, if you're into cars you've probably seen Mighty Car Mods before. And they released a kind of movie where they go to Japan. They bought a Nissan uh, March, which is a super turbo. It has a supercharger and a turbo, which is pretty awesome. Uh, and they're driving around Japan. They end up at a road called the uh, Hakone Skyline, which is a, I think it's a pretty famous road in Japan. Uh, it's a mountain toge road where you you can even rent. I think they said you can even rent like an R34 Skyline, a GTR, all kinds of crazy cars you can rent to drive around the track of course um, and that's what I was looking for I was looking for that oh okay whoa okay okay there's a there's a big random bump in the road let me just back up I was not expecting that at all <laughs> I just drive around this corner oh damn okay if you making the I don't see again I don't know if that's part of the track or that could be actually on the actual road in real life because I know that the okay I'll continue my story and jump back to that so I was looking for the Hakone Skyline and I couldn't find a mod for it but I did find this which is the Hakone Ohara Dai and I found a guy who had made um, 10 or so uh, oh hold on. this is actually the end of the road I'll just, go, I'll, I'll just go have a look actually to see what's up there. Anyway, this guy's made a bunch of 90s Japanese mountain road tracks and I'll probably I'll probably drive them all and they're really cool. Oh, yeah, this is literally the end of the end of the world. Uh, can I flip oh, can I rotate this round without driving off the edge of the cliff? Yes. Okay. So that's how I found this track, so I was looking for the Hakoni Skyline and I found the Hakoni Oharadai. Get back on the road. It's all good, Scott. Don't worry. Don't worry, RX7. You're all good. 
uh, anyway, so that's how I found this. Um, so it's a mountain road in Japan. Uh, it apparently, the real one, apparently there's no cops, and no cops ever get seen there. Uh, anyway, you can pay a toll. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ugh. God damn it. You can tell I have not driven this track before. Uh, I will also add that I am probably not as good as someone like Jimmy Broadbent, who is absolutely amazing at talking and driving. I'm not sure if you guys ever tried to talk and drive. It's, well, in real life, it's easy. It seems like it's much harder in the game. I guess because you're driving faster. In real life, you kind of... You're not, you're not driving on the limit when you drive to work and talk to your friend next to you, but when you're trying to get down a mountain pass, you know, at some pace, it's much harder. I don't know how he races by racing, uh, racism, good <laughs> with setting competitive times, uh, talking, literally blows my mind. Anyway, uh, I'll do my best. I'm pretty sure if I get sideways, I will, my brain will literally just turn to mush and I will stop functioning at all. Oh no 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 no! But uh, the track seems pretty cool. I like the again uh, the guy. I will post the track below. The guy who built this, he actually linked uh, a video. Oh, we're right back at the start. I'll go. I'll go down again if you do. The guy who built this, he linked a video from the 90s, and he built about 10 tracks that were from the 90s. Uh, this is number one, and they're all mountain, Japanese mountain roads, which I will try, because they, I'm a big fan of Japanese cars and Japanese car culture. Um, so I will try them all, and I'll link this one down below. Uh, so far it seems pretty cool, and I like the way that uh, this foliage either side, I feel like that's a good way to handle this sort of stuff. I don't know if, if real, the real life one has these trees and things either side of the track, but I feel like it's a... Oh, hello, I didn't notice this the first time. Hold on, hold on, what's this? Was this an extra bit? Oh. Is that blocked? Yeah, I can't get up there. Okay. You got a love of flame coming out the back. So anyway, he built a ton of these 90s uh, tracks, which I'll try them all, and they're all mountain, mountain roads. Um, but so far, like I said, the, the track seems really cool. I could imagine it being really fun to do some drifting down here. Uh, if you have a friend who is a good, a good drift partner, some tandem stuff down here would be pretty amazing. It's really short, so you could learn it quite quickly. Uh, that's the good thing about short. Oh, it's another bump. Why? Where did you come from? Where's my back button? Okay, my car's getting ruined by these bumps. Okay, if you're the guy who made this uh, track, why are there bumps? And if the bumps are supposed to be there, okay, fine. But that's one of the questions. I don't mind bumps if they're supposed to be there. I dig it because it's like Monaco. The where is it? I don't know what turn it is. Turn one, two, three, four, like turn five. You come that fast right hander that goes leads down the hill uh, to the famous the casino. And there's that big bump on the left where you see F1 drivers, they come around the right hander and they swerve to the right and back to the left. I don't mind imperfections in racetracks. It's a lot of the a lot of the Norge life uh, racetracks have the bump. There's a few bumps on the Norge life which are oh, did it twice. There's a lot of bumps in the Nordschleife which are there and it's a case of you learn them right so if that bump is supposed to be there that's totally fine it's just a case of you have to learn the track but like I said I can imagine this being very fun doing drifting, toge, racing down here. Oh 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 I missed it. Alright. Let's put some power down. Let's hear that. Oh, I love this car. That, I would not do that in real life. I would not uh, drift onto the other side of the road. Although, if you watch the video that the guy posted of this road, <laughs> that's literally what they're doing uh, in Japan. I mean, that's how 
drifting and Togi mountain racing started. Guys drifting and racing down the mountains. Oh, he's gone wide. But yeah, no, overall, this track seems really cool. Um, if you like this video and you want to see more, I could race other things. Again, this is the first one, so I feel like I'm a little bit rambly. I don't really know what to say at this point. Um, but if you like the idea, if you like the idea of seeing different cars and tracks, every video, and talking about what they're like and how they are, and just, it might even just be a way to see new things if you want to suggest a track or a car, uh, please leave feedback. If you did like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button. Smash that like button, as most people say. Um, and that'll be it. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.